Next up, we're going to be doing Impopable with No Monkey Knowledge over here on four circles. So we're going to head there with Obin as our hero. And to get started here, we're going to place down a Druid right over here in the middle area of this circle to the left until red and then back. Now we can press play. We're immediately going to buy the Thorn Swarm here. As we all know, this is a really cost-effective upgrade. And this is going to do a pretty good job popping everything immediately on the first look here. And while this is happening, we can get ready to place down Oban, who's going to go in the middle here, and then maybe up just a little bit. The tricky part about this placement is we want Oban to just barely be touching this upper part right here. So that Oban can throw the Spirit Wolf on the very entry part of this circle. And it is going to be a mid-round placement. But it's a really large window to place it down. So here we go. We can see we're getting right up there. See that little area where we're up? And then we can go right there. The ocean's rot is unfathomable. The ocean provides... And from here we can be greedy for a little bit, so we're going to save up for the Druid of the Jungle right here. Getting Heart of Oak, which really doesn't help us too much. But Druid of the Jungle certainly will. It's a very fast way to get through these levels. And then I'm going to be showing you how the tier 5 of this path can be really useful on Impopable if you don't want to deal with having a bunch of banana farms. This is a good secondary source of income that can be really good on a lot of maps because the tier 5 of this just coats the whole track with thorns. So there's a lot of flexibility there. We're also going to grab the hard thorns here. And then we need to get ready to pop some camo balloons. So we're going to come down here and get ready to place down a ninja. Who's going to go all the way up here in this top area of the circle. So right here. All the way up in the middle and then back down. Right there. We're going to set this to prioritize camo. And then we're going to get the ninja discipline and the seeking shuriken. We're also going to grab the sharp shurikens for now. Just to give us a little bit more speed here. Yes. And then at this point we can start placing down our druids. So our first druid is going to go over here. Left until red. Down until red. Right there. We're going to get the thorn swarm and the druidic reach. And then we're going to place down one more druid over here. Left until red. Down until red. Right there. We're going to get the Thorn Swarm and the Druidic Reach on this one as well. Now we need to find a place for our Monkey Village. And there's a lot of different locations we can put this down. We have a long time to figure it out too. Depending on your placements, you can place it down right below here. And see we're going to have plenty of room to get our druids in there. You can also squeeze it in up here, which I like this placement a lot better. And then lastly you can put it down over here, right? And still get all of your stuff within range with the larger radius. So let's go ahead down until red, left until red, right there. We're going to get the bigger radius and the jungle drums real quick here. This looks good, right? You can see if there's a wiggle there. If your placement is really good, you can get a extra druid in there. But we're going to come down here, up until red, left until red, up, left, right there. We're going to get the thorn swarm and the druidic reach on this. 
Then we're going to come over here, place down another druid. All the way to the left here. Left until red. Left until red. Up until red. Right there. Druidic Reach and the Thorn Swarm. And then we're looking really good from here, right? We have a lot of options from this point. We can come back over here and start upgrading towards our first Hop Lust. We want to upgrade these three here to Pop Lust first. So we can grab that mid round there. And then we can come back over here. And we're going to get the Grow Blocker and the Radar Scanner. Once we have the Radar Scanner, we can sell this Ninja Monkey, because it doesn't really help us much anymore. And it's 1k, so that's a pretty good boost to our economy. We're going to come back over here and upgrade this to the Pop Lust. There we go. And then this one right here is also going to be Pop Lust. The money on this round is really slow, huh? There we go. We have our third Pop Lust here. As we can see, we have three stacks on this right now. At this point, we can also set Open over here to Strong, just to give Open a little more opportunity to pop some balloons. And then we have one more thing to do here. We're going to go all the way over here, and we're going to go down, and then to the right. Down, and then to the right. Right there. We're going to set this to strong and upgrade this to the Berserker Brew with faster throwing. And now we can save up for our tier 5 over here. So we're going to get the Jungle's Bounty. And then we're going to save up for Spirit of the Forest. We need 42,000 for that. And for this upgrade, I always want to call it Keeper of the Forest. And maybe that's because I've played a lot of Warcraft 3 and Dota in my day. It could also be because both of these have a strong association to vines and entanglement. But what's really going to be nice about this is it gives us extra income per round. So we're not only going to be able to get the tier 5 of this, but we're also going to come back over here later and get this up to the Avatar of Wrath before round 100. So this is a really strong build that you can use on a variety of different maps. We don't really use druids that often, but it's definitely one of the stronger strats out there. Because of the large build area over here, this could also be a really good map for Oban and a bunch of ninja monkeys as well. We're just waiting now. Pretty crazy what we're able to do with just a few towers here on round 60 there. We don't really have the strongest towers in the world, do we? We just have a couple tier 4 druids that didn't really cost us too much. And we also have a monkey village with jungle drums and radar scanner. Which was a large portion of the money that we spent as well.
The other huge source of value we have here is this alchemist, right? Alchemist can take a good tower and make it great. Oh, or overperform beyond what you spent on it. And we can kind of see that here. It's not a very fair comparison, but this one has popped 32,000 and this one is just over 9k. And we're only getting stronger from here. We can see now that we have the secondary Oban buff from hitting level 11. And this level is pretty much why a lot of people think Oban is the strongest of the four starter heroes. You get so much value from this. Especially if you get some druids and also get a wizard monkey. You can get Arcane Spike or Prince of Darkness and really get a ton of value from this. The extra two pierce is really powerful. And I do really like that this vine druid over here can clean up anything that runs by the initial look there. We just need 10k more. We're pretty close. And we're able to get this really early because we didn't overspend on our druids either. Right, we only got three popless druids. So we are cutting some corners there to make our build even stronger. And in this case, we didn't take any risks because these are early game rounds, right? If we were to try to save up a lot of money in these later game rounds, we might be punished by a fast moving DDT or something. For me, when I was learning the game, the hardest thing to deal with was DDTs probably should have just spent a little bit more time on the wiki to understand what they did because they just kept running by and I didn't really understand it. So we just need 42k. We're so close. Buying that. And then we can come back over here and watch as the money goes up. A thousand per round, now two thousand. So much money, right? And this is also just constantly popping stuff for us. We're gonna come back over here and upgrade this to pop list. And then get another druid right here. Left until red, up until red. Left, up, right there. Pop lust, thorn swarm, and then one more. Left until red, up until red, right there. Get the Druidic Reach and upgrade to Pop Lust. The oceans have no equal. And we're doing this extra one because we can see this one still doesn't have five stacks. Now they all have five stacks. We can come back over here and get the Heart of Thunder just to give it the full upgrade. Why not? We're going to come back over here and get the Stronger Stimulant. And now we're going to be saving up for a little while again. We want to get the Avatar of Wrath. And it is important to make sure you pick the one that has the really high pop count here, as it's much more effective and it gets that damage on the round much more quickly. It's also the priority for the Alchemist buff, as we see here. Even though it goes through that buff pretty quickly, it does make a huge difference. The 
This is at 94k, and this is at 270k. So even though this is a tier 5 that gets damage on every single round immediately, this is still doing a pretty good job for us here. And now we just need to hit that 54k mark. It is pretty late in the game to be saving up all this money, but remember we're not technically saving up too much money because we've already saved up 12k over here. And that number is going to keep going up as well. So essentially what we did here, having the 13k here and getting over here, we've essentially saved up for a Sky Shredder, but gotten an Avatar of Wrath with 5 stacks of Hoplust instead. That first batch of DDTs is pretty scary. But luckily we have the Spirit of the Forest. Come back over here, get that Avatar of Wrath, and then we can save up for the MIB. Oban is really talking a lot right now. My B is pretty good. Now we don't really need to buy too much else, but we can place down a Ninja Monkey over here. Just make sure it's not within range of the Alchemist. We see that buff coming into range there. Go over to the right just a little bit more. Be extra safe. And then up. We're going to upgrade this to the Sticky Bomb and get the Ninja Discipline. We can also get the Sharp Shurikens. This is just going to help us have a much smoother round 100 as Sticky Bomb does a ton of damage. And then from here we can just place down some Sniper Monkeys, set them to Strong, and upgrade them to Deadly Precision. I didn't even realize that the timer down here in the bottom right corner blocks vision. That's interesting. And I saw that that one was not on strong. We'll go back and fix that here in just a second. Here comes round 100. Look at all that damage. And there you have it. Impoppable with no monkey knowledge using druids with a slight twist there. We can see our monkey star was that avatar of wrath, even though we got it so much later than the spirit of the forest. And we can take a look here that the Spirit of the Forest also generated 26,000 bananas for us. So really huge value getting that early and cutting those corners to get this up early. Thanks for watching.